Hello and welcome to the Jackson Harris Show. My name is Jackson Harris and welcome to the Jackson Harris Show. Today I'm here with Glenn Burns, meteorologist at WSB. And uh, today, let me ask you a couple questions while, we, while we're doing this podcast here. What is your most memorable storm? Oh gosh, there are several. Uh, I guess it would be the downtown Atlanta tornado uh, that came through that was an enormous tornado. Uh, really did a lot of damage. We were on the air for many hours tracking these storms. It was a really horrible situation. That is absolutely pretty cool. Um, during your time at WSB, how did you get into it? What do you mean? How do I do I how do I get into the meteorology? And how do I get into the meteorology of the whole thing? Well, we have uh, various ways of looking at the weather. Uh, one of the ways is what we're doing right now here in Severe Weather Center 2. Uh, my colleague right over there, you see that? There's Brad Nitz over there. Hello. So Brad will be doing the 5, I'll be doing the 4 and 6, and Brad will also be doing the 11 o'clock news tonight. And we're looking at the latest computer models. And one of the best ones that we have uh, is the European computer model. So we have the European computer model, we have the American GFS computer model, and all sorts of models that we look at. But the European model seems to be the best fit for us so far. It's, it seems to be the most accurate. So we're looking at that now and planning out the rest of the week. So when is it going to rain? We have an approaching cold front on Thursday into early Friday morning. That will generate some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder through at least Friday morning. So we're putting that forecast together right now. This is a good place to be here as far as the timing goes. So back here in Severe Weather Center 2, getting ready to go on the air at 4, and we're really uh, making the forecast right now. That is absolutely excellent. I, You know, the reason I like um, watching Channel 2 Action News, you know, every day I watch Channel 2 Action News to... Well, we're very happy that's the case. Every <laughs> single day. Um, I, I get my local stories from WSB. I get Excellent. my local weather. And I'm kind of a big fan of you every day. I'm a big fan. I'm actually a big fan. Um, so I know I saw on YouTube at one point and it was like what was your most memorable story and you were talking about this the blizzard in 93 that was the that was the one that that kind of made us here in severe weather center too um everybody was kind of backing off on the you know what was going to happen here but we went out on a limb and uh, we really forecasted you know I, I told my producer he said how much do you think we're really going to get i said you know it's not out of the question to get Two, two and a half feet of snow, 30 inches. He goes, well, you're not going to go on the air and say that. And I said, well, that's what I'm seeing, and I think I'm pretty confident because I worked in Minnesota for three years in Minneapolis. I got some good snow forecasting skills there. So you know, Blizzard of 93, yeah, I said uh, I went out on a limb. We got that 30 inches of snow, and so people were, were kind of pleased at the forecast, and especially here at WSB. Because we went out on a limb big time. The other stations weren't doing that. And no, uh, with everything I've been, I, I studied you before I um, did this podcast. And when Karen Minton, I'm going to say, and we're going to talk about Karen for a minute. When yes. Karen Minton, Minter, yeah, his, her last name, weird. Minton. Minton joined Minton. WSB mm -hmm. about 33 years ago. Is that correct? Yes. And she had that weird hairdo, correct? She, well, not according to her. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, her big brother. So she's my little sis. <laughs> and um, every day, I think, man, it's been almost a, two years, well, actually one or two years since she's been on the air at WSB. Yes. And um, let's see, let me think here. You know, she had a brutal grind, you know, this morning shift, and, and Brad worked the mornings yesterday morning, he can attest to that, that's a brutal shift, you don't really have much of a life, because you're going to bed at midnight, you know, or even earlier, at 10, 10 o'clock at night, and you're getting up at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning to go to work, uh, and, and you're, you're on that morning shift, and you're going every 8 minutes, every 10 minutes, 
uh, you're producing graphics, you're going on the air, you have active weather, you're really busy. That is a grind. That really takes a toll uh, on a person. So that kind of a schedule, I worked a little bit when I first started here at WSB. I know how bad it is, uh, but a lot of people like it. Uh, meteorologist Brian Monahan likes that early morning shift. Uh, not so much me. I'm a night person. I think Brad's a night person, too, over here. So the mornings are not our cup of tea. But, again, that is a really tough schedule for a person, you know. That's not good for home life, and it's not good uh, on your body, really. It takes a toll. Now, I actually looked, I was going to say about you, I actually was looking. So I do the weather at my school, at um, White County High School in Cleveland, Georgia. I, I, I live yeah. in the Cleveland area, the White County area, mm-hmm. and I did my weather, and I did excellent, like I usually okay. do. And um, we get most of our um, our graphics. We go we go over to the uh, what's it called the WSB page, mm-hmm. and we get the the latest um, radar from there. Yes, from y'all's two D. I said two HD camera. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have the best radar. I mean, we have our own radar, which is unlike any other station. It's located in western Georgia, and we put it there for a specific reason, so we can see the storms that are coming in from Alabama first uh, and live. There's a little bit of a delay when you use, like, the National Weather Service radar, but having your own live radar, you can pinpoint storms and you can go way down and delve deep inside of them. You can see several modes. You can see the rain mode that we have, and then we have a velocity mode. We can go inside the storm and actually see the motion of the air inside the storm. So when we have a tornado situation, we can zoom down in on a storm, and the wind that's blowing toward the radar is colored green. When the wind is blowing away from the radar, it's colored red. And when they're in close proximity, you have a green and red signature coming in, that means you have a circulation, and that would be a tornado. So we can actually pick up these circulations before it maybe even a tornado forms and alert people. The earlier you warn people, the better off you're going to be. Better uh, off with everybody. Yes, that's um, pretty cool. Um, let me think of anything. Um, so I know we're going back here. You've been at WSB for how long? Well, it'll be uh, almost 40 years. Wow. Um, 40 years, 39 years, yeah. So looking at um, your picture on now from YouTube, I, so I watched the old clips and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I watched the old clips, and I watched it from the 93, and the pictures are way, way different than, I know. And then <laughs> since 93. Yep. Like, oh, man, I... I you know, my two favorite stations are Channel 2 and then Fox 5. Which There's is, a station in town? Yes. There. Yeah, there is. This station is like literally one of my favorites. We get local news, but it really doesn't talk about North Georgia that much. Really? It, yeah, it okay. does. It really doesn't. Well, we do. We, we do have, as a too. We talk about North Georgia weather all the time. And um, I was going to say, I... So last week and stuff, I visit my 96 year old grandmother. She was the, actually the first city councilor in Helen, Georgia. Outstanding. And um, tell, her, tell her you say hello. Yes, absolutely. And um, I was visiting family and all that. And uh, I was going to say, the microphone's picking you right now on. I actually own my online radio station. Sweet. A online radio system where I do my own forecast in North Georgia. Very good. And it's a lot to handle. It's, we know that. It is a lot to handle for everything. Yes. Um, and I was going to ask, not Fred, not about Fred, the other one uh, who just had cancer. Um, what's her name? What's her name? And. Forgot. Damn, I forgot her name. It's, she says beside Fred. I forgot. Um, Wendy Corona. Not Wendy Corona. The other one. Um, huh? Sophia Joy, Carol Sparge. Uh, who's on with Fred in the morning? Lori? No. Wilson? Is it Moore? 
Last name Moore? Javia Moore. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah. She was our main anchor. Yeah, after the whole cancer thing. Uh, yeah, it's a very tragic situation. I wonder how is she right now? Cause, well, yeah. well she's, she's hanging in there. She's getting her second round of chemo and uh, doing the best she can. I mean, she's a fighter. Uh, she's always got a good you know, mindset that she's going to try and beat this. And that's basically a, a large part of her recovery. So we're calling it a recovery right now, and, and we're just hoping for the best. Hey, let me ask your meal large your little friend beside you a question. Can I ask him a question? All right, I'll see if he's up for it, but there he is. Hey, Brad, come here. Yes, hello. Let me ask you a question. Sure, Lamb. Okay, so also, you know, with Glenn and stuff, what was your mem- memorial storm you ever done? Memorial. Uh so I would say, uh, similar to um, to Glenn's uh, memory of the downtown Atlanta tornado, um, I would say the day after was was one that that um, really sticks with me even more. Although the downtown Atlanta tornado, um, you know, impacted the heart of the city and caused some significant damage, um, the coverage that we did. Uh, ended up being much longer the next day. Uh, we were on in continuous tornado warning coverage for seven hours the next day. Um, so that was, uh, I mean, it's hard to pick, you know, any, any tornado is, uh, you know, especially when it causes uh, damage and, you know, touches down in the populated area is a big deal. So it's hard to pick one, you know, I wouldn't say one is more important than another, but that day, seven hours of continuous tornado coverage um, outside of hurricanes is some of the longest uh, nonstop work I've done. That's actually great. Um, now, also, I'm, I'm a fan of all y'all. Now, literally, I am. Every single day, I watch Channel 2 Action News in the morning. Well, not in the morning because I have school and all that. But in the afternoon at 4.30 to 7 and then at 11 o'clock at night, I have yeah. time. Yeah. And eight, seven, uh, 2 o'clock, uh, Channel 2 Action News was has been on my list as the number one news station to watch in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, we appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. And um, let me, hold on, let me ask you another question. When, how did you meet um, Glenn? How? Um, so I met him when I started working here. I didn't know Glenn before uh, working here. And then um, I've been here almost 16 years now. So we've worked together for quite a while. That is pretty cool. I guess I probably, I, I guess I probably met Glenn at my job interview. It would have been the first time. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Yes. I, now I was going to say, I was talking to Glenn a minute ago about this. Now I have experience with meteorology in my school. I I'm in high school. I own, a, uh, I own a podcast company as my own 16 year old self. Great. And I do meteorology in my um, broadcasting school. And we, um, we go back and we do um, the weather and our sporting events. And this, this, this is very exciting for me to talk with y'all both. Well, we appreciate you uh, taking some time for us. Yeah, and yes, this is um, very exciting to me. So what's your most memorable uh, storm? <laughs> um, mine is the 2017 snowstorm, the ice storm of yeah. 2014 and 2017. Um, I was um, getting out of school, and I started walking, I slipped on ice. I was like, uh... And I was thinking, maybe I should start online radio station. Don't take a memory, right? Slipping on ice. Did you get hurt? Yeah. I never got hurt, but I never broke anything. All right. Well, that's good. Keep up your streak. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) This is pretty awesome, talking to y'all both and stuff. It really is. And every day, I get up and say, hey, I'm going to go back on my radio station and do all my things I always do online. And I own a radio station to myself, <laughs> playing cool, playing all the bit the the beats and doing my weather, doing my traffic report every day. 
I think. Man, that's awesome. Now, due to COVID, um, did y'all have to shut your studio down for tours? Due to COVID yeah. at one point? We are still shut down. Really? Yes. Oh, man. That's, um... That's... You used to have tours here all the time, but yeah. uh, no more. Did, you, did your school get shut down? In March of, I think, last year. That's it. And then we opened back up. Ever since the teachers all got vaccinated, and I got vaccinated in April, and then, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been going um, pretty exciting. It's been pretty exciting since the um, no, there's no COVID in White County, <clears throat> not in the school system. There is not. And um, looking at the um, latest numbers in White County, it's been okay. Living in North Georgia is all right. It's just been really yep. cold. It's been yep. cold and stuff. And here's the funny thing about Glenn. Here's the funny thing about it. Something. When you had that video on YouTube on the 1993 storm, and you said four, three o'clock, it's raining. Four a.m. It's raining. Five a.m. Yep. It's raining. I know. We were panicking there for a bit. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah. Snow started blowing, yeah. snow falling, and then we almost had like 30 inches of snow in Atlanta. Yep. We uh, we watched it unfold. It was pretty uh, amazing to see. It was uh, the likes of which I haven't seen since. Uh, that was the storm of the century, they were calling it. Uh, I arrived here uh, in 1982 from Minneapolis, where I was forecasting for the NBC station up there, and we had about... Uh, I don't know, three, four inches of snow on the ground here, a little bit of ice. Uh, the whole city was paralyzed and shut down for days. In Minneapolis, we'd call that Thursday. But <laughs> here was a major fiasco. I mean, the whole city was shut down. Uh, nobody going anywhere. Nobody going to work. Schools were shut down. It was a, a nightmare. That was in 1982. And that was just for like, you know, two, four inches of snow in some spots, a little bit of ice thrown in the mix. But... Uh, the blizzard of 93 was a whole different animal. It was uh, the likes of which we have yet to see again, uh, fortunately. But, yeah, that was a storm of a lifetime. My dad, so my grandmother, she used to be the manager. Her name is um, Linda Harris. She used to be the manager of Unicoi, Unicoi State, the State Park in Unicoi oh, yeah. in White yeah. County. And um, she had a house up in the woods. My dad used to go hunt deer hunting with hit with my my papa T my his daddy went hunting and um, talking about every day we watch this 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 newscast we think man it's almost time for deer season it's almost time yeah. for deer season and man it's been it's been a, a crazy it's been crazy couple of years since I I went deer hunting. Yeah, well, the weather, you know, it's, it'll keep you on your toes for sure, trying to figure it all out. This one you think you do, it gives us a, a big change and shows you where you really stand. So, again, it's, it's a big challenge. It's not a fine, it's not, you know, a it's not easy, correct? Science. Not we do easy. our best. Uh, we have, I think, the best staff here at WSB. They give us radar, they give us the best equipment to use. and so we have to give it our best each and every day, even on a sunny day like today. Now, how do you, even, now how do you get weather alerts from the National Weather Service? Well, we, we're in something called NWS chat where we can see what the Weather Service is thinking when we're tracking storms. You know, they'll say, look at this storm, let's follow this. And it looks like there's some rotation there. So we'll be on guard, ready to go. And just like everybody else, the warnings come out, and, and we'll go on the air immediately as soon as the warning is issued. Or if we see a storm that really we don't have any questions about that looks like it's going to be a nasty storm, we're going to go on the air regardless of a warning uh, and just wait for it to happen. We've done that many times. And one of the great things I have is Brad Nitz here. We are a great team. Uh, by this time, Brad's been here 16 years. We know each other very well. He runs the radar sometimes. Sometimes I'll drive the radar. He'll be in front of the chroma key screen. I'll be in front of the chroma key. But we kind of know what each other's thinking, what each other wants 
out of a out of a situation. So it's a good team, and I, I think we're much better than any other station doing what we do. And um, also going back to the not the tornado, you know, tornado two thousand eight before. 2008. Yeah, the tornado two thousand eight. Um, also, before then, there was before the tornado that day, the nighttime hour of the Georgia Union hit the CNN Center, yeah. and I know the the college basketball against was it Florida, and uh, it was it was been, it's been so long since yeah. that basketball game. Now I was going to ask you: Are you a Georgia Board Bulldog fan? I forgot to ask that question. Who, me? Yes. Um, I can be when Florida's not playing. It can be Florida, Florida, you know, is it Florida State or Florida? Well, Brad went to Florida State. I went to Florida. <laughs> uh, how about Atlanta Braves? Man. Oh, of course. Are you kidding me? We're getting ready to do even a forecast for them. They're having a big uh, party in Cobb County uh, this afternoon. Braves started, I think, 508 or something like that. This afternoon, so we're doing a forecast for people being outside just watching the Rays game. So, yeah. Now, I was um, no on September 11th. I went. I went my grandfather to a Georgia game against the UAB, mm-hmm. and the news cat the the weather forecast showed up as um, it was who was it again? Shoot, on September 11th, um, was it, <sighs> someone? It's one of y'all, not you, but it was the guy's name. Uh, not sure. Yeah, he showed up and talked about the weather, and I and then I see him across the field wearing a red jersey with Georgia on the G on it, and it was like the the, sure. the the coolest thing. Excellent. It was Excellent. the coolest thing. Now, also, are you a Atlanta Hawks fan? I forgot to ask that. Well, not really. I like them, but I don't. I don't have time to watch. You don't have time to watch because you're doing the weather no. and yeah. you're doing yeah. that weekdays and not. Yeah. Thank Lord, not the weekends. Right. We are going to have up here in the next minute. So, any other questions? That is all. Now, hold on one second, okay? Yeah. I'm on mute. Mike's here, and uh, we'll get on. Thank you for guys for joining the Jackson Harris Show. I'll see you right after this commercial. Thanks, guys.